Um, greetings, greetings, greetings. Like, oh my, how, how, how y'all reconcile with, how do we reconcile again? How do people reconcile? Like, what, what, yo, I'm like, Do babies or kids reconcile or they just pick up where they left off? Like, oh, you, you got my favorite toy or you you did this and do they just forget about it? I wonder, is that like the true meaning of like healing or releasing something? Man. I'm going to tell you one, one of the most... We hear, I feel like we hear women talk about this a lot, but yo, how it's like the question. I don't even think it's a question. It's like, how do you love again? I feel like, yo, that's what a lot of us are going like. It's a full moon, and it's there was an eclipse, and then you have Scorpio energy, Taurus. It's so much going on, man. Like, it's been, like, lifetime. It feel like lifetime. I feel like I've been through lifetimes of betrayal. <laughs> Shit. Man, it's like, how do you love again? It's not even how you love again. It's like, man. Do you give someone that key? Do you give them that opportunity? What about people that want to reconcile? Or reconsider something like what? <sighs> Somebody like I don't think this is talked about enough, man. I will say this, yo, like for a lot of men, for a lot of masculine or men, men that are in tune, because when one is in tune, such as myself, I can speak from a place of vulnerability or not having to hide anything. I'm like, and my nipples are all shown. Yo. I feel like, yo, from 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 a healed place, it's like, yo. You're you're coming through this like portal or this gateway or this this you're coming, you're releasing so much of what happened. And it's like this this new shit, this new beginning is so like, you know what? I feel like I'm I know I'm deserving of this. I know I'm worthy of this. And it can feel like you at a crossroad, bro. It shouldn't have to be this way, man. <laughs> I oh yeah, man, look. Let me tell y'all something about those that really grew up with me or know me or know of me, I love really, I love laughing. I love being, me being my authentic self is the best. Being your authentic self is the best version you could ever be in this world. Being you, no matter what. I feel like if that's one thing that I've learned and then coming into something new with anyone it's like, can I truly, I know I can be myself around anyone, but can I truly, I feel like that's what I had to do is like, can, can someone truly be themselves with you? Like fun, energetic. It's like, can they truly express their inner essence or their inner child to you? And so a lot of us, man, are healing from a lot of, I feel, like I said, it feels like lifetimes of betrayal. Like healers, healers know what I'm speaking of. I'm talking about like, bro, I ain't this, this ain't the first time I'm meeting you. We've been through this before. How dare you? Do we need to go through this again? And I feel like that's what karma is in a way. It's like, have you learned, learned, learned the lesson? And that peace and that blessing and that clarity comes with that lesson and it's like man you're at a place now i feel like i feel the old letting go and 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 that's where i i express to people let me tell you everybody don't have a heart like you do everybody's not you you are uniquely you but everyone is uniquely them 
I feel like that's what'll help a lot of people. Is you know that you it's your response to how anyone reacts to whatever it is in this world is how you respond to whatever is is offered to you. And knowing that your peace and your love and all those things that we've been shown or, you know, that is outside of us to to be more focused on, but no, it's relying on the inner guidance, man. For real, if that's anything I'm going to share with you, brothers and sisters, man. You don't ever have to question your intuition, your gut. You don't ever have to question the love that has was bestowed on upon you and what was always with you all along. Love has always been available to you. We just had to be shown shown different versions of ourselves via, you know, via lens through other people, like mirror back to us and having to go through those lessons, man. Shit. <laughs> and it's like a child in the adult body. Like you just want to be open to everything so innocently, so genuinely, so beautifully. And then the world, like the earth, wind, and fire said, it said the child is born with a heart of gold. The weight of the world makes his heart turn cold. Yo, if that's not the word right there, man. So for those, let me tell you, man, forgiveness is key, man. It's like forgiveness Forgiveness, whew, man, forgiveness, man, forgiveness. Forgiveness is, it, it, it opened doors that many people won't even, could even fathom. It's like forgiveness opened doors to, to, to limitlessness, is that, if that is even a word, or, you know, boundlessness or infinite or whatever or just things that are beyond your imagination what makes you who you are let me tell you something for those let me tell you do not give up there's something specifically for you because you have done you have set with yourself uh, you know I love me but I don't I ain't even care about mine you have set with yourself. You have loved yourself. You loved yourself back to. You've always been whole, but you love yourself back to that 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 healed place or that wholeness to where you know you can only attract only but that and better and more beautiful and more abundant and more blissful. Cause man, let me tell you. It's not even about nobody no more. It's not to say like in a in a self-centered way. Well, I'm the center of my universe, but it's like, and then you have the the, the creator. But it's like, man, forgiveness. Through all of this, it's the forgiveness because I know a lot of us are trying to battle back through and gain the courage to really get through circumstances that was supposed to fucking destroy us, man. For real, brother. <laughs> My gosh. can't believe Tommy and Sarah did that. But anywho, no, but for real. Laughter, forgiveness. It's like these, these circumstances. We are not our circumstances. And everything is happening now. It just is. Everything is just is. It just is the way it is. You know how they said that? It just is the way it is. But the beautiful, the beautiful thing about all of this is that, man, someone's always watching and someone's still, in a way, dependent on that smile that you have. Someone is dependent on that video that you may share. Someone is dependent on that hug that you may come and give them. Someone is dependent on that to the mothers that your children are, are, are relying or, you know, that that independent is not in a way because there's so many things that's misused. It's not, it's, we're naturally codependent or dependent on self and our mothers growing up. So 
a lot of us that have just let me tell you, you you are a gem. You are a diamond. You are a pearl. You are loved. You are beautiful. And you've always been in been this since the crowning, since the birthing of your your true essence and existence into this world. Yes, we all had to go through some shit that we wish we could just just Truthfully, it cannot be undone. That's all I'm going to say. But the forgiveness is truly key. I share that with you. Forgiving yourself, most importantly, and forgiving others. Because we cannot ever undo what's been done. Okay? But I speak from a man that at the age, even at this age of coming into the age of 32, doesn't I don't I never what I won't ever feel ashamed of the growth mentally spiritually and physically um or regret anything and that takes a lot for anyone to get to that place to have the courage to get through that if I did not call upon you know source God the creator for guidance for my ancestors and spirit guys and, and art and angels and you know all those things for all those things being supportive even the people that were apart like i'm so grateful for all of you i don't give a fuck if it's one subscribe uh or just one like or whatever it is it we don't never know when our moment is up so that one person you could have shared a message for, that message is going to, you know, trickle and, and have a ripple effect forever. So don't ever give up. You're going through what you're going through, but you're going to get through it. You've gotten through it. And you will continue to get through it. Continue, like I tell, I keep reminding myself. Continue to be like you are the rainbow in someone's storm. And so like I'm learning to, for myself, I had to get through what I felt like it was a lot of betrayal. Or what I felt was a lot of like backstabbing. Whatever it is, it's like we all experience some type of pain. But that pain reminds us of the love that has always been available and will always be available. But just know someone is dependent on that smile, bro. I don't give, look, let me tell you. I used to be so self-conscious about my smile. But someone is dependent on that smile. There's people that don't even fucking have teeth. There's some people that don't even fucking have the best smile. But someone is dependent on that smile, okay? Because guess what? All this one day is going to wither away. It's the confidence in who you are. And if that's one thing, it's be confident in what you create and how you speak, how you walk, how you talk, how you do everything. And that's a process because some of what we didn't come from confident parents. We didn't come from parents that had courage. You know, some of us are being removed from a lot of things right now that we didn't even think existed in this world, such as jealousy and envy and, and, and betrayal or whatever it is that as a kid, we didn't think this shit existed. Or we didn't, we didn't know that this was like, whoa, I, I just want to be a kid again. But you get, let me tell you something. That kid, that inner essence, that inner child, has always been there. Your mother and father, nobody else neglected. It. it may seem they neglected you, but truthfully, now you're at that place of awareness is that you can no longer neglect yourself and will no longer neglect yourself. That goes for the mothers and fathers. Never neglect who you truly are because even if when you have kids, learning to stand in your power and to walk in your authority and thank for yourself and love on yourself and be who you are, it takes a lot of courage to get through that shit. It takes a lot of courage and, 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 and love 
to actually say today I'm going to make a change. I'm going to do something that I love. I'm going to I'm going to nurture myself for a change. And it's so new to a lot of us, man. This shit is so new to me. It feels like, yo, after all I went through in in all relationships, now I see the importance of the relationship with myself. I'm the captain of my own ship. So my relations and, you know, ships with other people is that when people are coming and, you know, if I'm the captain, then they're here to join my voyage. But at the same moment, we have that conflict of interest and some people may not, you know, they, they may want to venture off on their own voyage. This is where some of us have to learn that, look, everyone is cannot be the captain of the ship everyone cannot go with you upon your journey or your voyage to find yourself no matter how far you go into the ocean or how far you know you go into this world you will always be led back to yourself everyone is returning to the same place and when i mean that is that we're all returning back to the essence of who we truly are and the essence of who those with a soul know who they truly are is that that's love it's pure it's innocent like that of a child so i'm here to encourage you and empower you let you know like you ha we had to unlearn and relearn we had to unlearn those patterns of what it is to to unlearn those painful patterns those toxic patterns those looping patterns those patterns that kept us in the same repetitive you know illusions and in ways of insanity creating anxiety creating all this dysfunction and discord and now we're aware that's why age is just a feeling it's a number some of us are getting this at 60, 70. Some people are getting this right before they leave this earth. Some people may not ever get it. But for those that will see this and you get it now, that means you have you have a mo you have the you have something to still you have a purpose here. Okay? Shit. I'm gonna get this out. Alright? Come on, y'all help me. But anywho, you still have a purpose. If you're able to get up. No matter if you have one leg, two legs, uh, one eye, or whatever it is that you have, it's something to be grateful for. Be grateful for your relationships. Be grateful for the growth that you've experienced. Be grateful that people mirror back to you all of your insecurities, all the things that you wanted to hide. Be grateful for those things. Even your kids. Your kids are also just, it doesn't matter if they're adults. They're giving to us to show us what it is that we need to acknowledge, which is our own darkness, forgive ourselves, and move forward to create a new narrative, a narrative or, you know, that is with ease, not of like, oh, we got to go work hard. No, it's you're changing that. And so now, be grateful that it don't matter where you are right now. It's something to be grateful for. Count your blessings. Whether you can breathe, you have great health. Whether Even if some people are in their car right now, but they have a place to, 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 to lay and to keep them warm. Some people have a trailer. Some people even have a tent. Some people even, some people can have millions But yet, the thing about it is that are you at peace with whatever that you do have? And are you grateful for what you have? So more can show. I spoke to my elder sister and I was telling her, I was like, yo, who really has more than anybody right now? Nobody. Nobody's life is better than no one's right now. If it's anything that everyone is going through right now, everyone's going through some type of transformation or regeneration or 
their whole world is being turned upside down. So just know some people come in your life as a blessing to turn things upside down, to mirror to you the dark things that we didn't ever think that was still there. Just imagine if people didn't come upon your journey and didn't poke. It's not to say they pick and poke, but didn't, you know, mirror to you all the things that we wanted to hide insecurities or whatever it is, you know, our deepest secrets for us not to really now acknowledge them, make peace with it and speak about it. If I didn't do this, then what, how would I be speaking to y'all right now? How would I be sharing this with y'all right now? It's not to save you, you know, a healer or someone that really comes along your path. They show you. It's like the light shines the light. They show you what it is to, you know, lead one back to self, which is love, a true leader. So guess what? It's a cycle of life right now. People are going. People are coming. It's 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 it's, it's something new. Nothing is going back to the same. Focus on your well-being. Love yourself. Create affirmations. Whatever it is that you want to do to bring forth, you know, everyone's not going to be on the same accord. Or everyone's not going to want to be on your ship. Everyone's not going to want to sail this way. Everyone's not going to want to go where you're going. And that's from experience. That's okay. Do we really wait on anyone? Do we? That's just like saying a baby waits to grow or anyone waits to grow. Nothing is waiting on anything. Patience is another thing. Patience and, and you know, patience is everything, let me tell you. But let me tell you, man, stay in gratitude for what has happened. Then you can attract that which you know that it's going to be a, a more beautiful and 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 worthy, knowing that you're going to be worthy of what comes into your life. So you don't have to jeopardize it. So you don't have to create scenarios anymore. You know, we look at kids, I say it all the time. They're just so innocent and they teach us so much. They remind us of what's truly within us. They don't sit back and argue all the time. They... They absorb whatever it is that they're near and whatever it is they're watching. That's why we have to be mindful. Because what we do now and what they see will also trickle down to them. And then whatever they do, when something happens to us and we're not here, they're going to show the next generation. That's why it's so important now that it's so beautiful we're doing our healing. We're exactly where we're supposed to be. Be grateful for that. I was telling my bro earlier, I was like, man, if it's anybody to blame, it ain't the government or nobody else. It's like these people that, oh, my God, I just, oh, my twin flame, my soulmate, my life partner, da, da, da. Man, let me tell you, you are your own whatever it is. You are your everything first. You better, if you want to put a ring on it, put a ring on yourself. Put rings on yourself. You are your, you ever seen a little kid? What do they do? They don't need mama and daddy in a way to like, they got their own imagination. They got their own friends. They got their own everything. They in their own world. Everyone is, has their own universe. Uni means one, you. And then, and then you have what some perceive as, I like to call it the omniverse. Omni meaning, you know, uh, everyone, like, every, everything is connected. But you are your own universe. You are your own world. And it's how you perceive it from those lens. So then how we, how do we walking out here judging people for what they want to do in their world? Just, just walk away. You ain't got to put up with nothing. And people know that. Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun back, man. I just wanted to say that, but, um, man, have fun, man. Be innocent. Like, go have fun. 
I don't know what fun is for some of y'all, but I cannot be the judge of all that. But, man, have fun. Create memories. If anyone that knows me that been in my presence, they know that, you know, from growth, I love to have fun. I love to create memories. I love to travel. Traveling is so fun to me. Mental health. Like, going places, creating new memories. Yeah, you can meet people. And it's a balance. Life is, do whatever you can to do to stay neutral. You know, hang out with people here and, you know, restrain or however that is, you know. Some people won't go away six months. Some people may go off the grid. Some people may run away. I don't, some people see it as run away, but the, you never know what that person perceives it as. They may see it as, look, it's a vacation. You may see it as running away. Don't nobody owe no one nothing here anyway. Nobody in my past owe me no apology. So before anybody think you owe me an apology, you don't owe me an apology for, for taking care of you, for being you, for you, for loving you. I had to release that, man. I feel like that's the importance of this full moon and everything that's happening right now in this, in this coming of a new age, a new world. It's like, truthfully, everyone just wants to live in peace. If it's anything for uh, I share with uh, my empresses, queens, princess, and any you know women, truthfully, a man he's not seeking much. He just wants peace. In a world, especially men of my stature, that can be perceived as like you know as so many things. How much people that men that look like me, how much like a, an attack has not only been on me, but how the world perceives me. I don't care for nothing else but just being at peace and protecting that by all means. And for some that know, that means like driving somewhere and being profiled or going somewhere and people clutching their purse. Yeah, this shit still exists. Well, not in my world, but going somewhere. And people really, and even if it does, it doesn't affect me. I don't really care because that's that's their own world. That's their own fear. It has nothing to do with me. I'm walking in love. I'm not giving people that power. That's all it is. So that's truthfully. And then even for, like, I see a lot of my sisters. And I speak on a lot of people that, and this to help people that, come from different cultures and creeds yeah there is a human race but to better understand and understand people that have been through so much you know where do you may perceive them as african-american black or indigenous or typically people that are darker shade or darker hue if you really want to understand and understand what people have went through sit down with them talk with them you know, get to really know what it is that, you know, their emotions and why they're so triggered and what it is it about them. Everyone's not going to react the same way. But people right now, if anything, they're they're fighting so hard. Mothers are fighting so, so diligently and consistently to just, you know, if you really look at those communities, there is, they have no, like, they don't give up on nothing. I come from warriors. You know, my grandmother, my great-grandmother, like, these are women that, as much as you we can speak, you hear some people speak so ill about women of color or, you know, beautiful, learning from what I've experienced, the resilience in a power, even if they don't see it right now, they will, and that's why I'm here, but the resilience, it's like, what is it going to take for women of different cultures and creeds to really sit down and really learn about women that have, you know, that really have been in these communities and go through a lot of stuff like that, they really see their kids being shot. And it's it's so much bigger, but I'm just saying, like, and then for the men, like, our mental health, our mental awareness. Like, if I didn't have this fucking YouTube, if I didn't have, like, a lot of stuff I'm realizing now. Because at this point, 
when you're learning to love yourself again, trust yourself again through not only relationships from women, but with, with men and with yourself, man, you have to have some type of healthy outlet. This is a healthy release right now. So it's it's bigger than me. This is for, you know, a lot of people that will see it like, man, this is bigger than me. I'm not just doing this for me. This is for the brothers and the little boys and girls in the communities that, you know, that are going through things that they don't even know why they're going through. And so remember that. We can always get caught up in our ego, but what about the kids? They remind us of the purity and love and innocence. So, like I said, if, if y'all really, if this world is ever going to change or if it's ever going to be something to come, to come from this, those that know me and been around me, I go to those people or I connect with those people. You got to have those uncomfortable conversations. You got to sit down and let people know and shatter their fucking illusion and mirror like, look, yo, I'm not angry. I don't walk around angry. I'm not angry at the world. Some people are angry at the world because of what, what's been given to them and, and how a people that look like them has been perceived for so long. If you ever, some people like, where's the compassion? And now we're seeing humanity going through the same. Now, where's the healing for humanity? Where's the healing for the mothers? What's a pro? What was a program and and help and a service for those people? Cause some of us, I tell you, man, we we so easily get caught up in that that illusion and narrative, like oh, family's gonna be everything. No, sometimes you gotta be your own tribe, and then realize that there's gonna be others that are gonna come along, and you're gonna attract that you're not even gonna have to question. They're just gonna be there. Some people are going to understand you from a soul perspective, not on a material level. They're going to understand you from something that's that has nothing to do with material. So y'all just remember that, man. Keep on keeping on. Keep loving. Keep going. Never stop. It don't got to make sense right now. And it'll make sense all in the end, but then even when it ends, it's truly beginning. So just remember that, man. Just breathe and know that you're not just the only one going through something. Keep in mind that when the mothers and parents and people are affected by this, the kids are also affected. It, it touches everyone. So how are you using your platform or how are you using your life and what you do to touch others? What are you doing? And you know, it can be just, as, it's the simplest things. You don't have to speak, you don't have, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Simply doing nothing is going to be doing everything. Um, hugging your kids, it's just putting out that, that higher vibration into the world. So I wish you all clarity, bliss, abundance, prosperity, uh, wealth in mind, body, and spirit wealth and health wealth and everything and just breathe in these moments it may seem troubling but truthfully things must be destroyed before they can be rebuilt things must be dismantled things must like tower moments must come so things can be rebuilt and be anew so life is not happening to you. Life is actually happening for you and for the greater good of all. It's not just about us or you. It's just, it's about us. It is about you, but it's also about, it's Ubuntu. I am because we are. Shalom.